Tiberius. A man who just won't die. Tiberius is one of the most complicated emperors of Rome. He was hated by the main Roman historians like Suetonius and Titius Dio, and yeah, Tacitus, uh, although the authenticity of his works is debatable. At the same time, uh, secondary Roman historians like Velaeus Paterculus were okay with him, and Velaeus Paterculus, by the way, was the only contemporary historian. Everyone else lived much later. Tiberius wasn't a very popular guy, and apparently he was quite paranoid, uh, mostly because uh, people were actually plotting against him, and he always had to come up with the, you know, with new ideas on how to stay in power and, you know, survive. He ruled for more than 20 years, so he was mostly quite successful in the art of staying alive. Tiberius wasn't Augustus. Uh, he wasn't even really his son. His position as the emperor was more or less contested. Uh, there were factions in his family and related families. Uh, there were other politicians. Uh, the idea that the princeps uh, must be from the Julii clan, because this fact alone makes a person a legitimate ruler, and if you don't pick the guy, the sky will fall down. Uh, well, this notion just wasn't there. It is not 19th century Europe when people were seriously discussing the concept of morganatic marriage and how the descendants of this sort of marriage must be excluded from the line of succession and stuff like that. Uh, the Roman Empire was officially a republic. Uh, there was no Julian or Julio-Claudian Claud Julio -Claudian dynasty. Uh, there was no dynasty at all. Tiberius was the emperor. Uh, he was powerful, but, you know, uh, as I said, he wasn't Augustus, who ruled Rome for a few decades. He had to defend his position. The reign of Tiberius basically started with mutiny in Pannonia. His son Drusus and Germanicus, another relative, uh, had to deal with it and persuade the legions to come back to their senses. Uh, both these guys were designated heirs of Tiberius and both were poisoned. Drusus died in the year 23, and a year later Tiberius decided to disappear from public life and left Rome for Capri. The administration was left in the hands of uh, Lucius Ilius Sianus, uh, traditionally known as Sejanus, uh, the Praetorian prefect, who quickly started erecting his own statues here and there and started to act almost like a co-emperor. It is rumored that Sejanus was actually responsible for the death of Drusus. And he actually wanted to become the emperor himself. Uh, sources kind of indicate that at some point he had more political way than Tiberius. What Sejanus didn't know is that you don't mess with Tiberius. Because if you mess with Tiberius, uh, you and your family will eventually die. In the year 31, Tiberius performed an unexpected political gambit and ordered to kill Sejanus. And uh, then he kept sitting at his villa on Capri, fighting with the potential conspiracies against him. Roman historians obviously say that Tiberius was doing some licentious stuff there. Uh, they say it about everyone whom they don't like. Tiberius died on Capri at the age of 77. Uh, there's a rumor that his relative and protege, Gaius, uh, was involved in his death. But most probably, Tiberius just died of old age. 